Well, good morning, everyone. Well, today we took a visit to IUP's campus where a very special exhibit is going on. We're so excited to share about this opportunity that not only the students here have, but also the people in Western Pennsylvania, if they're interested. And I want to talk about these fossils. We're actually here with Dr. Warnock. Hello, Hello. good to see you. thank you for coming. Yes, yeah, so not only are you a professor to teach people about these fossils, you also provide students and others a very cool opportunity to literally dig deep. <laughs> yes, so ever since I've been here, it's been uh, 12 years of field work. Wow. We've brought students and other non-student volunteers out to the Cleveland Lloyd Dinosaur Quarry and Jurassic National Monument in central Utah. It's a, it's a historic bone bed. It's been worked for over 100 years. Yeah. Um, it's just this really well-known site where, where we can teach, we can learn, we can excavate, we can do science. It's great for the students and, and for the public. Yeah, and I can see that we have a really amazing piece here. And describe to us what which dinosaur is this? Yeah, so, so this is a Majungasaurus. It is a predatory dinosaur. Um, it's actually an Asian dinosaur. We have a really big collection at IUP of all of these different replicas of life through time. Um, and so the students get sort of this opportunity to start to learn, start to interact, and then they get to go out in the field and do it, you know, real life, see the comparison. Yeah. So for example, we've got what is the top of a vertebra, one of the backbones here, that's sort of broken off. Oh and gosh. so we can do the straight comparison and it's this part of the bone. The students can look at oh, the anatomy wow. yeah. and understand and then come into the field and sort of get that real world level of complication and learning. And, and this is honestly massive. So I can't even imagine what part is this and yeah. Does this give you an indication as to how big the animal would have been? Absolutely, yeah. So this is another vertebra backbone. This is from wow. a Camarasaurus, so one of our long neck uh, sauropod dinosaurs. And we can look at the sizes of the vertebrae we have from complete animals yeah. or other bones from complete animals and then compare them to if we just find the one. And so um, an animal like this, you're talking tens of feet, 30, 40 feet long or more. Um, a few tons, just a massive, massive animal. That's amazing. Well, there's a lot more history here throughout IUP. I think we're going to see another really amazing, I mean, jaw-dropping, literally, uh, <laughs> fossil coming up, right? Yeah, let's go take a look. Okay. Wow, Professor, what in the world are we looking at right here? Yeah, so this is a skull of Triceratops, one of the most uh, common dinosaurs in yes. North America, right towards the end of the extinction of the dinosaurs. It's part of our fossil display and life through time collection that will be available and on display in Kopchik Hall, our new science building opening oh. actually in January. Okay, so people can actually come and check out all of these exhibits that you have. Yeah, so all of our fossil exhibits are out on display, available to the public. You can sort of walk yourself through time on campus yeah. and, and see the history of everything. Thank you so much for the tour. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Okay, all right. Now I got to go and check this up up <laughs> close. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> how interesting. Thanks so much, Daisy. And how cool is it that tomorrow is National Fossil Day? Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it sort of all ties together and that that's happening at IUP. Super cool.